Good evening all. We are just under 10 weeks out now. I'm at the gym just doing a live update. Obviously last time I was on here doing a live stream apart from last week where I was training was obviously 12 and a half weeks out. So just under about 21 days ago. So then we were discussing a little bit of the nutrition we were doing then, training, training styles, etc. So we can discuss a little bit more as of today, it is Monday, feeling motivated, um, just finished the gym, GH, um, I did some shoulders um, and a couple of clients, I'm at DW now, just obviously checking in with everybody, got Muhammad Ali in the background, so very motivating, so what's happened since the last live feed, well, as you're aware, um, my calories or the baseline diet I was following at the start of my prep, um, like mentioned, nothing changed. I started on a baseline of around 260 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, and fats around 100 grams, and that was the same um, for five weeks straight. The only thing that did change was the cardio. Started off quite low at 20 minutes and progressively got a little bit more up to 30 and then 40 minutes. But as of last week, um, so five weeks into the diet, on the same baseline, um, obviously my body fat was chipping away and so on, but while I keep maintaining that fullness, um, we decided to change it up. Obviously by we, I mean James, and my coach, James Llewellyn, who's prepping me into this year's um, competitions. Obviously worked well with James last week, going from one show to another. So, um, like I said, we decided to change it up and we did some carb cycling. So carb cycling is something I've put a lot of clients on myself in the past and even done myself back, going back last year um, and got some really good results with. So as of last week, we started cycling where we were on, again, using the baseline of carbs and calories that we discovered work for my body as like a maintenance and a slight <coughs> increase um, or calorie deficit. From there, we were using there, and dropping down into a medium day, into a low day, back into medium and back high, and then cycling up and down, which so far has been quite effective. Like I said, it's only been, this is going into the second week now, so um, what I noticed last week, obviously, definitely decreasing calories. Yeah, you're right. Um, obviously, first day on the low day, my calories dropped down 600 calories, so definitely feeling the effects there. Um, no difference in strength, just a lot hungry. Obviously, the lowest day being around 100 grams of carbs, the highest day being 260, and the medium day being 160. So, what I did notice then after cycling this for a week um, was when I was on my I day, which was just my baseline that I was on. Um, for the last five weeks, I did notice a lot more fullness and my body was absorbing the carbs a lot more effectively and I just felt like um, obviously it had more of a dramatic effect than what it was having in the last couple of weeks. So still not doing any um, extra fat burners. I mean, starting, I started um, P&I um, Pure Labs T6 at the beginning of my prep. That was just to get my metabolism firing. Um, my adrenal glands working, so obviously the breakdown of fat into fatty acids is a bit more productive before my morning cardio. But apart from that, nothing else has changed. Like I said, the, the cardio has been a baseline, and working up to that baseline of 40 minutes a day, and then just introducing the carb cycling as of last week. So definitely feeling a bit tighter, um, aiming for around two pound weight losses a couple of coming weeks which will take me a little bit heavier on, st on stage this, this year. But just trying to maintain that fullness. Um, as James pointed out, so I've kind of like, over the last couple of years, I've dived into my prep a bit too aggressively, dieting a little bit too hard at the start, um, and doing a little bit too much cardio. So this year we kind of decided to um, step back away from that, back off on the cardio, um, keep the food as high as we can, Still, um, I haven't had any really cheap meals. Um, I had one meal four weeks into my prep off my diet, which was just Nando's. 
pretty much chicken, rice and chips, no desserts. And that was, like I said, after four weeks of the same, same meals. Um, and again, I'm not sure if that's going to change, if we're going to have any refeeds or cheats. Again, it'll change if need be, and that's kind of where I, I kind of told James at the start is where I would be is, you know, I, I only want to do something if it's going to have um, a positive effect on me. Mentally, it's not really needed. Physically, if it's needed, then I'll do it. Um, but at the same time, the food is good at the moment. It's quite high. I'm get, still getting a balance of um, different nutrients, carbs, protein, and fats varying. It's a lot, obviously a lot higher than where um, where I've dieted in the past. But then I have had cheap meals, um, so it kind of like balance yourself out where the calories would decrease, and then the cheap meals would would obviously compensate the calories being in a, such a deficit. So, like I said, I'm just listening, happy to do whatever whatever I'm told. Really, if the cheats or the refeeds are in. And if not, they'll only be in if need be. Um, so yeah, we're looking back at my plans of from last year, and at this point last year I was um, six, around ten pounds lighter, which is funny because obviously I was light to start of my prep this year, um, but obviously my weight hasn't dropped. Um, too dramatically over the last couple of weeks but my body composition has changed quite a lot so I'm heavier at this point now than I was last year around 10 pounds and that's probably going to show on stage I'm hoping to maintain that level of fullness but obviously we're in a better condition than I did last year and start pushing up the ranks um, and so on so let me discuss a little bit about my training style I haven't been following anything too specific at the moment in terms of um, you know any any training systems. All I've been doing yeah. is almost back to basics, limiting the drop sets um, and the supersets on most movements, just keeping the raw movements in to maintain that muscle mass and leaving more um, more techniques and um, different training styles later on to come. So my workouts will consist of. I tell you what we have been doing a lot more this year. That's something I've never really been doing. Obviously, it's been training with James. I've seen him twice a week, so I'm kind of mimicking the workouts that he's putting me through. Is a lot more working sets. So something I've probably focused in a lot um, over the last year or so, or even two years, is is more of a high intensity style training where I would kind of build the intensity up as the, as the sets got um, more aggressive, let's say, and the weight got more challenging, and then I would just do one all out, maximum intensity, set to fatigue, drop sets, super sets, um, rest pause, whatever technique I can use to really fatigue that muscle. Whereas this year we kind of like um, just doing more working sets. So we will build the weight up um, to a work, good working set weight, and then we would do more sets of our weight. You know, um, it, it could even be up to six working sets, and I found that very effective. Um, and it's obviously decreased the volume of the, the overall exercises in my workout, but the, the volume was increased because the number of sets have increased dramatically. So um, I've definitely found a difference from that. And obviously, as I get closer to the show, I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to start um, rumping up the volume and doing more, more um, force reps or um, rest pauses or supersets or drop sets, any other techniques I can. But at the moment, it's all quite basic. Um, in terms of my training style for each body part, um, it tends to be quite basic for hamstrings and back. A lot of thickness movements, um, four to five exercises max keeping the reps within target range of 8 to 12 and again around four working sets per exercise for shoulders we tend to be doing a lot more um, isolation volume style exercises a lot of higher reps and just angles so um, I'll give you an example of today's workout for my shoulders was um, start with seated lateral raises um, 15 repetitions building the weight up to 15 repetitions so I had 15 kilogram dumbbells 
Um, I did 15 seated reps, followed by 15 partials, and then I did the same with the 7.5s, and that was one set, and I repeated that four times. Then I did um, standing high laterals, where I was just doing partials from the top, 25 reps, and then going into full laterals with the same weight for 25 reps. Um, I was reading that a little bit in Arnold's autobiography, who do my cardio the other morning, so I thought I'd, I'd copy that. Then I did some seated behind the, the neck press on the Smith, keeping the reps between um, 15 and 20, um, four working sets of that weight, um, followed by rear delt um, dumbbell flies, 20 reps with my palms facing each other, 20 reps with my palms, um, my knuckles facing, um, palms facing down, and then 20 reps holding the plate standing. Then I did some rope face pulls, 20 reps leaning right forward, 20 reps up high. Um, and then I did some front raises with some dumbbells, 15 repetitions aside, and then followed by some incline Smith machine press. So that would be my shoulder workout. Like I said, a lot of volume, a lot of angles, very little compo movements. Whereas for hamstrings and back, it's more basic um, thickness movements, four exercises, four working sets. Um, for chest, we're keeping the reps quite high, so the volume is there. Starting with isolations first, always on chest at the moment, um, keeping the reps 15 to 20 rep range. Arms, again, is very similar to what it is for shoulders. Um, and quads, we're only doing quads um, every second week, so every 14 days. Quads, um, obviously my quads are quite the dominant body part anyway, so what we tend to be doing is focusing on that more isolation stuff. We've been doing like leg extensions, 15 sets, 15 working sets, um, with loads of drop sets um, or, super, or partial reps and then followed by some hack squatting and leg press and maybe walking lunges but again like that's only every other week so um in in terms of that's my training obviously calves we've calves around sorry thrown in calves twice a week um it there was a bit more volume um and a bit more intensity so um definitely working hard on them trying to bring them up um, varying the rep range of repetitions um, and obviously the, the training volume just trying to shock them to grow. Abdominals tend to be doing every other day either after cardio or after a workout um, and pausing practice almost every day trying to get the transitions right trying to keep my midsection nice and tight and just work on the, the pauses I struggle with the most and the pauses are not too much of a struggle um, all my strong pauses tend to be doing less of them so that's pretty much where the training's at um what can i discuss now i'll talk a little bit about supplementation um my supplements i'm using um again it's mostly food that i'm, I'm doing six meals um i do use a time release protein before bed if any of you check on my facebook i did share um, a link to the one I use um, at the moment is by PNI. It's pro poor protein advanced. It's got three different types of protein, um, eight hour time release, so it's great before bed. I also have a scoop of whey with my breakfast in the morning, um, and apart from that, every other meal is obviously a solid meal. I use the super greens for breakfast. Obviously, I did mention the T6 before I do my cardio. Um, my amino acids by again my, my supplement sponsorship PNI which I sip during my workouts and doing my cardio glutamine while I train um, creatine still in there creatine monohydrates it's 5 grams a day at the moment so that's still in my workouts vitamin C um, digestive enzymes omega 3s a multivitamin um, probiotic supplement as well I have that with my breakfast just to help my digestion of the food. Um, what other supplements? ZMA, I use ZMA before bed just to get my, I, I suffer a little bit with cramps, so it's my magnesium usually is a little bit more depleted. Um, we did some electrolyte um, 
findings when I was seeing my chiropractor. He was a really good guy. And we found my magnesium was a little bit lower than what it needs to be. So I find the ZMA obviously being quite high. Magnesium has helped that. And obviously zinc, magnesium, vitamin B6. So it does help me out put it going to a deep sleep as well. Aid in increasing natural testosterone while you sleep. So um, I definitely feel the effects that I'm getting a good night's sleep. Um, and that is a supplementation. So any questions I can answer, I'll be happy to do so. Like I said, we are just under 10 weeks out from the first competition of the year, which is NABA. Um, obviously got my NABA top on here. NABA Wales held in um, Newport um, for the second year. Um, give me a moment, my battery is going to go, so I hope I don't want to lose any feeds. I'm going to leave this on the live stream so it stays connected. I'm going to run and go and get my charger. So check out the Muhammad Ali poster or photo behind and stay motivated. Give me a moment. Sorted. Thank you for your patience. And there we go. We are back on. It's been so far. Um, obviously, I've discussed my food, um, where I am, my cardio, my training my supplementation, um, my cardio routine, pause and practice, um, what else can I go through? Just a little current update, like I said, I'm just sharing these live streams just to kind of give something back and have something that I can reflect back on. Um, I have been, in the past when I've been doing my preps, I've been doing a, a blog which is featured on my website, christianwilliamspt.com, a um, personal blog. Obviously, I'm quite busy at the moment, so I'm trying to write a little bit more articles, put some uh, videos up. Obviously, the way the industry's going, everyone's watching more than they're reading. So I thought these um, live streams would be a bit more um, useful. And again, just for me to reflect back on once, once we come to an end. So, like I said, the first competition is in 10 weeks' time. Um, in the Naba Wales, out in Newport. So, open to obviously qualify for the NABA Britain which is in I think it's a month after that show I would like to do a PCA show um, as well this year obviously I did the PCA Hampshire last year and the PCA British as well so I'd like to do a PCA qualifier I'm decided which show yet I know there's many around um, we've got obviously the one I did last year the Hampshire show which is a great show I really enjoyed that me and my wife then obviously you've got the body power as well, which is a week after the NABA Wales, uh, Wales so that could be an option. And then you've got um, obviously Mike and Lisa's show, uh, PCA Welsh, that's another option of mine. So I would like to qualify for the NABA PCA British again and do the same. So what are you going, what cardio exercise? So the cardio I'm doing at the moment, um, is on the cross trainer so 40 minutes um but i'm in the routine where it's 40 minutes on the cross trainer and then i do a little bit of pause in practice and then go and walk the dog for another 30 minutes but we're not really counting that because that's something i would do anyway it's cardio on top of what i'm already doing so it's 40 minutes on the cross trainer i did start doing the stairs this morning because i thought i'd do 40, 20 minutes on the stairs and 20 minutes on the cross trainer. Obviously, the stairs are a little bit more um, intense, so 
I thought I'd get the calories up, um, but James said no stairs. So um, I got a tendency to do a little bit too much too soon. And last year I was doing an hour on the stairs every morning, which was effective, but again, my legs were just beaten up. So I think the approach this year is a little bit different. Less is more in a sense, so it's just a cross trainer, which is easy for me at the home on 40 minutes. I've done three hours of cardio in the past, so 40 minutes is fine. Um, and again, just touching on that, everyone who's listening, um, the cardio is additional to what I do. So if I work a, walk a lot in work on a daily anyway, that's not cardio. Cardio is keep my heart rate up to a, a certain, obviously, percent of my maximum heart rate. Um, you know, I see guys and they're like, oh, I do a lot of walking in work. Yeah, but that's what you do anyway. That's not cardio. So the cardio is additional to what I do. So if I'm already walking the dog in the morning, the cardio for me is extra to that. So it's 40 minutes on the cross trainer, which again, like I said, is quite easy, but I'm sure that will push up. I think James will probably keep the food where it is um, and start increasing my cardio. So I'm guessing we will probably take that up to an hour very soon. But at the moment, I'm just listening. I could do more, and I'd probably like to do more. Um, but at the moment, it seems to be working. Um, and obviously, if I can get away with two less, then it's going to just give me more energy to train. Train at the moment is good. My strength is high. Although I'm not really pushing any numbers or aiming to you know, push any big weights. I'm feeling good when I train, I'm recovering good. I'm, I'm surprised how full I'm staying and how, how much I'm growing into the show. Um, obviously, we're still not there yet. We have got around 20 pounds of body fat to come off. Um, but again, you know, the, the level of density that I feel like I'm gonna bring is gonna be better. And I think it's all gonna be due down to just backing off slightly and not pushing too hard. Um, not doing too much cardio, not under eating, making sure um, I'm actually I'm probably eating just as much food now as I would in the off season, but obviously my calorie output is slightly higher so I can get away with it. Um, in terms of my training split, like I mentioned, um, I currently do it around three days on. So I'll train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Thursday off usually. And then Friday, Saturday, usually Sunday off. Um, I've been quite fortunate enough lately. Um, obviously, I'm a member of a couple of different gyms, trainer Mike and Lisa's gym, GAH, which is a great facility for hardcore training, and you know, really bring out the best. We have a lot of support um, from both Mike and Lisa, Laz, every member there. Everyone's passionate about bodybuilding and training. A lot of fitness competitors, so. That's definitely a great place to be. Um, obviously, I'm training at Powerhouse twice a week with James in Aberdeer, which again, I love the facility. A lot of good boys there and, and ladies as well. Everyone's training hard. I'm a member of DW Sports, which, um, like I said, I've been fortunate enough to be using the spa here. Um, and that's what I'm going to do this evening. My wife, Carly Williams, is also prepping. She's doing my cardio now. So I'm going to chill out in the jacuzzi for half an hour, which is just up in recovery. So, and then once a week, then I tend to drive to another gym just to break it up. Um, someone I've always done is trained at a couple of different gyms. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my prep at the moment. Like I said, the cycling is definitely working. Today is a medium day. So, like I mentioned, it's 160 grams of carbs. The protein and fat stay the same throughout the high, medium, and low day. Tomorrow's my low day, which is 100 grams. And what we've done, which is something I've done, is different to what I've normally done with my clients on my own cycling in the past, is I would have taken meals out. So, I'll give you an example. If I was having four, uh, 200 grams of carbs on a day, I'd probably have four meals of 50 grams. And then if I was to drop down to 100, I would have taken uh, two meals and only have two meals in 50 grams. And then if I was going to do 50, I would have taken another meal out. But what we've done with James is obviously I got five carb meals and then they stay. Um, and the days they drop down, we've just taken them out the carbs out from that meal. So 
for example, rather than have 50 grams of carbs a meal, we would have 30 grams of carbs a meal. Um, so it's trickery of the mind a little bit because I'm still eating the carbs, but obviously the calories and the carbs in our meal have decreased. So I still feel like I'm eating carbs in every meal, but you know, if I'm having five meals and I only have 100 grams, there's only 20 grams of carbs in each meal, as opposed to um, 50 or 60 grams or whatever I would have if I was on a high day. Um, so yeah, and I'm finding that effective, definitely feeling the effects of it. Um, I'm just thinking if there's any more, any questions we have. So I know a lot of people have been watching and I do appreciate it. Like I said, a um, couple of reasons I've been doing these live feeds is one, just to reflect back and two, try and offer a little bit of an insight to what I'm doing and so on. Okay. Sorry? Ten minutes left. I'm doing a live feed. So come say hi. Oh, she doesn't. It's my wife. She just finished her audio. So, um, hey, do me. Yeah, I know. I'm not too tired. Look a little bit. So anyway, um, thank you all for listening. Does anybody have any questions? If you do, question me now. Um, and like I said, if you want to come along to the show, it's held in Riverside Theatre, Newport. It is on the 6th of May, um, 2017, obviously, which is on a Saturday. Really good venue. Um, like I said, it was the first time there last year, so it's definitely... Um, it's, it's definitely an improvement from where it was um, the previous years in Barry. So if you do want to come along and you want a little bit more information on that, just message me below. And have a good evening, y'all. Peace out. Keep watching. Um, shout out to my sponsors, obviously, P&I, um, Pure Labs and Factory Supplements. Um, to my coach, Jean Cluellen, to all my clients. I've got a couple of guys doing some shows and females as well um, who are inspiring and motivating me. Everyone who's showing me support, um, Mike and Lisa at the GH and all the staff there. Um, and just friends and family who are always pushing me on. So thank you all. You need a sunbed. <laughs> I know, last time I had a sunbed, I burned. So I'm trying to back off. Barian is another client, he's pushing it hard. I'm gonna take him for a leg session tomorrow, so you better make sure he's getting the food in, carving up, because you're gonna need it, butty. Okay, anyway, have a good evening. Happy Monday, stay motivated. Hashtag bull mode. Check out my website, christianwilliamspeaking.com. Comment below, and if I haven't answered anything on this news um, live feed, I will write back. Boosh, peace out.